any girl I talk to that has broken up with her boyfriend, they she they will tell me he's a narcissist. And I'm like, oh my God. Like there's just such a misunderstanding of what that is. You know, more often than not, it's not the case. Yeah. And people don't want to hear that because they'll come to me because I specialize in this and then they don't really want to hear what I have to say because sometimes it's like, well, he just wasn't that into you. He wasn't serious about you. It's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He just, you know, wasn't that into you. Yeah. And and sometimes guys will lead girls on, and and the, that's a bad character trait, but it doesn't make them a narcissist. I've actually seen situations where girls and guys will be like, "We're in an open relationship. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm going to see other people when mm -hmm. we're not together." And then the guy's like, "Okay, that's fine." And then he sees her with another dude, and then later says, "Like you're a narcissist. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you did this to me. You're yes. hurting me. I told you what was going to happen." That can be gaslighting, yes. right? That's an example of gaslighting. That's a manipulation tactic. That's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. We call those double binds. Yeah, that is really interesting. That the, I see that a lot where people get broken up with, mm -hmm. and then they start. And what, can we go back to what you said before? A single instant. But here's the thing, guys. If your girlfriend cheats on you, that doesn't make her a psychopath. That doesn't make her a narcissist. Not at all. It just means that there's some evolutionary pressure, or some for some reason, either you weren't doing enough, or something else somebody else was doing more or there was a, a need for gratification or validation that you just weren't meeting. 